I made some changes to the Rocket game. First thing is I changed the background color. Um, I used a color that's in our corporate design because I want to use the game in one of our websites. So um, this is more fitting. Uh, after I changed the background color, I changed the color of the uh, health background as well because it didn't fit to the background color. Then I changed the position where um, a past obstacle uh, gives you a, a score um, to be more to the left because before it could happen that you uh, get score for the obstacle and then still crash into it uh, because it was too close to the player. After that I wanted to change the scoring mechanism because um, I think it's not very interesting if you always get only one point and uh, so I changed it um, to give you more points if you pass the obstacle only very close so if you play more riskier, you get more points. And if you choose a safe distance, you get less points. Then I changed the range for Y values or for the new obstacles because um, the rocket can be from 30 to 570 pixels in height so the obstacles should be in the same range. Then I changed the obstacle timer to create the first obstacle after three seconds and uh, then go only up to 15 seconds so uh, we turn the heat a little bit earlier on um, so it gets more interesting for the player And I changed the timer function so once you've game over uh, you don't spawn new obstacles. After that I created a functionality to pause the game. Um, I created a label that set, tells you that you have paused and I only make it visible if you hit the P key and on the P key I pause the whole tree and after hitting it again I unpause the tree.
Finally, I changed the icon to the rocket icon. That's the rocket player. <laughs> um, and deleted the uh, default icon from Godot.